Hey guys, CTS Tuna Communications here. Welcome back to the Logo Hall. Last time on the Logo Hall, we reviewed the logo of KLRN. You know, like, I think they do serve San Antonio now. They lost their license to Austin. It was given to KLRU. Anyway, we got another request, which pushes me back of making the Antenna 2 Revisited uh, episode. So... We got a request for the ITV logo from 1989. You know, the generic items. I don't feel like showing regional ones, so I'm only going to show the standard variant. Yes, this is how you make a logo. The animation, the animation is very smooth. I like the way it's stretched out, but it doesn't look like bad. It doesn't look cheesy. They added a wind effect with so many stuff. It's like blended in with the wind or whatever it is. The quality, ITV, ITV. Put a lot of effort into this. It's better than what the Americans could even do back then. It's even better. Sort of like my my current logo. I was using a 3D logo before, but now I'm using 2D. Oh yeah, speaking of new logo, you can see the S and the 2 clearly now. Okay, now the audio or the music this 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 music is very soothing it's very soothing I, I like it even if some people think the animation and the quality is bad it's always soothing to hear the music that combination of all those instruments including an oboe which it sounds like an oboe it's it's just very soothing. Hmm. So yeah. I'm ready for the rating. This is getting a 9 out of 10. The logo is good, but I feel like HBO is better. Um and that came out in 1983. Like HBO did ITV is in 1989. Not saying that the ITV logo is bad. I, I think it's good. A lot of people think it's good. But, and so that's why he gave it a high rating. But it's not as ta it's not as good as HBO. Yeah. Well, I guess I could close this episode of the Logo Hall. Remember to like the video and subscribe. Turn on notifications to never miss another video. Thank you guys for watching, and good night, local community.